What's up guys, Cliff here from The Sunday Drive and today we're gonna to be showing you how to remove the roof molding on your GMC truck. So welcome back to the channel guys. We are still in the process of wrapping my 2014 Silverado. So today we're gonna to be removing this plastic trim on the roof and uh, surprisingly, I couldn't find any videos on this. I found one guy that was swapping out his roof and he briefly showed how to remove this, but today we're gonna be showing you in detail how to remove this molding just in case you need to paint or wrap or whatever it might be. So let's get to it. All right, so before we start removing the trim that is still on the truck, let's show you guys what it looks like once it's removed. So this is the channel. As you can see, these are what the clips look like. They have clips on both sides that hold onto the trim. And these are attached to the trucks by little like standoffs that come off. And these will actually stay on the truck and the trim is going to remove from the clips. And this is what one of those standoffs looks like. So you're gonna take a plastic pry tool like this or any others, we'll link some in the description, and lift up on the front a little bit, all right? Now you don't wanna to go too hard or you will risk breaking the clips, so. And there. Okay, so that one popped. All right, popped fully, all right. all right. So we got that front clip popped off and that one's gonna be kind of hard to see with how tight the trim is, but now that it is loose, we're gonna start working these off one by one. So take, again, a nice plastic trim tool is nice that we don't have to worry about damaging the paint. And just take it up to the point where you can start to see a little bit of the clip. And then I take a pick tool like this and be careful of your paint. You might wanna lay down a rag or something so you don't scratch it. Um, and you're just gonna go in here and grab the clip and push it down so that it releases in and down so that it releases from the trim. All right, so again, there's four parts of the clip. So one, two, three, four, so four clips two on each side that are holding it in place. All right, once you get one side released, you can kind of twist the other side to release it. And then you can move up to where the next clip is. All right, and if you have side steps like I do, it really helps for this, or you'll need a, to stand inside the truck or something. All right, so you'll see little tabs that are kind of sticking off the clips. So I'm just pushing in and down to release, and we'll get some close-up shots of that once it's off to show you guys. It's a little tricky to figure out. So the tab that I'm pushing down on is right here. So I'm pushing down and in. You can see it released, and then there's a second one at the back. Down and in. All right, release that. Again, there's gonna be one more back here. Right here. Try to get that a little higher, just be careful. It's not super thick plastic. So. Right. I'm gonna try to get to that back part. And this one might be a little tricky because it's really tight back here because there's another clip all the way at the back. It's a little different, so. I'm just gonna carefully work my pick tool in here and try to release the clips. Okay, there it goes. This came loose off camera, but basically you wanna push up. And as you can see right here, it has a notch. So normally it's gonna be installed with that little standoff inside there. So if you push up, come to this big area and we'll come off. Um, so again, here are the clips. So the part I'm pushing down on is right here and then right here, and then it's these four clips that are holding it, so I'm releasing this side and flipping it over. Now, to remove these from the truck, it's a little tricky. So these are actually two parts. So what you're gonna wanna do, now you don't have to remove this. Um, you know, uh, if you're painting, you could easily paint over top of these, but um, I'm gonna show you guys in case you wanna know how, since we're wrapping, it's not required to remove, but I'll try to remove one. If you try just to lift the whole thing off, it is going to snap. So I'm pinching this part here together like that because that is actually part of the bottom of the clip. So we're gonna 
pinch. Try to do it. If you get needle nose pliers, that might work better, but I'm right here, so I'm gonna try to get it. So pinching, and I'm gonna try to get this under here to lift up while I'm pinching. Let's see if that's gonna work. There. Okay, so we got the one side lifted off. And now if we go to the other side, you can do the, ah, we clipped. All right, needle nose pliers would definitely work better here. So, all right, got that side released. I'm gonna keep the pry tool in there so I can't pop back in. <coughs> I'm gonna do that, oh, and <laughs> that fell out. All right, so you can see that this is a separate part from this. Now, I did remove one of these and unfortunately it broke around here. It wasn't bad enough of a break that you couldn't reuse it, but this almost seems like it's single use. You'd have to open up these tabs somehow, and they're pretty snug around this standoff. All right, guys, that is how you remove the roof rail or roof trim from your Sierra or Silverado, or probably a lot of GM vehicles from this generation are very similar. So if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Um, make sure to tune back in the channel going to be doing a lot of videos on the truck for the wrap and different things that need to be removed. So we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.